reputation is everything. Um, in the Philippines, who you are and as a person, reputation is extremely important. Um, associating with people like the bar girls and stuff doesn't do you any favours. Um, but also I would say that some of the expats with this, because I know there's a bit of infighting going on at the moment, just to avoid getting involved with it. Um, I know from my own experiences in the past, the stuff that's going on YouTube is sort of irrelevant, but there was a lot of stuff where people were actually really going for each other um, and spreading rumours and all sorts. But all that happens is you just drag everybody down. Um, there was a bar in Cebu um, where people were reporting each other to the police for things none of them had actually done. Um, ended up with the police taking a lot of interest in what they were doing or weren't doing, but then there was an interest in some of the stuff they did do. Um, all a bit bizarre, but it was all drunken expats arguing with each other. So where's the positive outcome? Um, there isn't any. But the other side of this being getting involved in community projects and stuff. Um, people like to badge a foreigner to it. Be very weary of getting too involved in projects you don't know 100%. Um, I sponsor feeding programs and stuff when I, well, when I feel like it. Um, but I don't advertise it. Um, I'm not photographed doing it, etc. Because I know the people involved um, are trustworthy to a point, but I don't know them 100%. Um, and the last thing I need is somebody doing anything in my name without my consent. Um, there, there was, or well, there still is, a charitable project in Cebu where parents and other people of children there were collecting funds for the school or should I say collecting funds for themselves uh, in the name of the school because the school doesn't actually collect funds um, it doesn't have donations it's not a donated project it's done through tuition etc um, so with that the guy that even owned the place was involved in something he hadn't even instigated he wasn't even aware of it until somebody asked him about why they were collecting funds etc to turn around and say well hang on a minute we haven't asked for any money and you will get people wander around the streets in Cebu and knock your door or whatever uh, saying they're collecting for the church and stuff they're not all collecting from the church they're using the church's name to steal money um, I find it completely immoral and it's taking money away from people who actually need it so just be aware because your reputation could be attached to something like that or it could end up attached to something far more severe um, like say you were friends with somebody that's involved with um, a larger project or a larger business that went bust etc then you start getting all the phone calls and stuff because they've seen you in the photos so you must know them because you're friends or you're, you're at their Christmas uh, party or something stupid association is quite a risky thing that's why you'll see a lot of the expats have been there a long time don't really do a lot online they keep themselves to themselves they're pretty invisible even on Facebook a lot of them don't even have profile pictures if they have them the pretty old ones <laughs> because um, they do try to keep out the limelight um, just be aware of it personally if you want to get involved in projects get involved but don't run them don't get photographed as running them don't get uh, pushing something unless you're a hundred percent sure it's above board um, a lot of the stuff that goes on they don't even see as a problem either um, I've seen charity organisations where all the lunches, fuel, car and everything are on the expenses of the charity and when you look at it there's hardly anything left for what they were actually doing. They're going up into the mountains to give donations away but there's hardly any donations left because they've eaten it all. 
Um, so be, be cautious on what you tag your name to. Um, for a long term success in the Philippines, it's well worth being very weary of anybody that says going to get involved in this without actually knowing them too well but also knowing how the funding operates etc because a lot of time a white face puts a um, well not just a white face sorry a foreigner's face puts a positive aspect on a venture as being honest and truthful when you may be completely unaware of what other stuff is going on from embezzlement to who knows what. Alright, thanks for watching.